need you to get something for me. Go on. I'm tracking five Obscura paintings for a client called Eckhart, but he's a psychopath. Why should I care? Because I'm being stalked. People are dying out there. Handle it, Werner. Lara, please. Look, go and see this woman, Carvier. She can help. I'm going. Eat it, Werner. You walked away and left me. Get out! This looks like a safe area, but I need to find a way out. What did I say? What did I say at the end of Tomb Raider Last Revelation? I said something, but I, I, I didn't just say it aimed at any particular- I didn't just say it aimed at any random person, I said it aim I aimed it at someone specific. I aimed it at Von Croy. I said that I'd be doing a pacifist run for Tomb Raider Angel of Darkness and that uh, Von Croy would not be benefiting from the pacifist restriction because he was going to die. And if you saw the clip, you would have seen that Von Croy indeed did die, which raises the question of how on earth could I possibly have known that, because you know, there's absolutely no way I possibly could have played this game before. So you know, obviously I must be psychic. But moving on, hello everyone and welcome to Tomb Raider Angel of Darkness, a glitchless no kills run. A playthrough of the game where I will be attempting to complete Tomb Raider Angel of Darkness while only performing mandatory kills and not using any glitches. And so basically yet the only kills that are going to be performed are the ones that are absolutely mandatory for completing the game aka enemies who drop mandatory items or trigger mandatory cutscenes, just enemies who absolutely could not be avoided. They're the only kills that are going to be performed. I want any other kill I, I am going to have to avoid. And uh, it's glitchless and so I'm not going to be allowed to use glitches as a way of avoiding uh, kills. This is going to have to be glitchless. And this will actually be um, left on the, left analog stick. the if if I do succeed at this, then I officially would have done a pacifist I... run for every core Tomb Raider. This is the only core Tomb Raider game that I've yet to do a pacifist run for, uh, with the sole exception 
of the minor games, such as the Golds, which I've never played or owned. And apparently there's some Tomb Raider games on the handheld consoles. Again, I've never played them or owned them. The jump to that... Now push forward and jump. To... And this is probably a controversial choice of a game, because in the past I haven't spoken too positively about this game. Um, I am aware I can... of the game's obvious positives. I mean, it does have a brilliant storyline. Uh, this game, uh, I would say out of the Tomb Raiders that I've played, this game comes second when it comes to storylines. Tomb Raider Last Revelation is probably my favourite. Uh, when it comes to storylines, obviously this game uh, is second when it comes to storylines and also um, has the um, far superior graph graphics to the previous Tomb Raiders. But there's, there's also the obvious negatives of this game. Uh, the most obvious that always gets brought up is the bad controls, which is quite a serious problem for me because... Um, well, I'm not going to go into graphic details, but due to... No time. Um, problems that I've got, I do struggle with practical things more than the average person does, and so I do find the controls abnormally nasty. But nonetheless, this is, I am playing this game, and I am attempting this challenge, and it's kind of weird because when I don't I play the game, I don't really get any urges to play it, but when I do play it, I do enjoy it a lot more than I anticipate. So, I really don't really know how to rate this game, but here we go. And, yeah, so, um, this is set, I think, a few years after Tomb Raider Last Revelation, where obviously, um, Von, when obviously the tomb collapsed and Lara was presumed dead but obviously she survived and got and then obviously Von Croy got into contact with her and then Von Croy then basically was killed well murdered and obviously we saw the cutscene but we didn't see a great deal it was kind of blurs and flashes and I suppose when we're playing the game for the first time I suppose it's meant to be unknown whether or not Lara killed Von Croy. I didn't I didn't go in here earlier because um, I need the crowbar to fully loot this area, so I thought I might as well just come here once and do it a hundred percent rather than come in and then come back and you know come in here twice. But yeah, so Von Croy was murdered and I suppose it's meant to be unknown as to whether or not Lara killed him, or whether or not there's a different explanation. Um, but obviously she is the number one target because she was being chased by the police and the dogs. And the bit where she barged through the door and then ran up the steps, is there any reason why she didn't just close the door? Because she barged through it, the door opened, then she ran up the steps. But if she was able to close the door, surely she should have done, because then surely the dogs wouldn't have been able to have gone through. But whatever. I need to make the most of the saves. I've got eight slots in total. And it'll probably make sense to try and utilize that just in case I mess up uh, or realize I've forgotten something or anything that sets me back. So yeah, um, this is the sixth Tomb Raider game that I'll be doing a pacifist run for, having done a no kills run for Tomb Raider 3 where uh, I did Tomb Raider 3, but with these, um, with the sole restriction of only doing mandatory kills, I did a secret no kills run for Tomb Raider 3, same restrictions, but with the other restriction of having to collect every secret, 
a secret no kills run for Tomb Raider 1, same restrictions but Tomb Raider 1, a semi secret no kills run for Tomb Raider 2, where um, I did the game only doing mandatory kills but also um, collecting every secret on some of the levels but on other levels just doing a no kills run. Then a glitchless secrets no kills run for Tomb Raider Last Revelation and Chronicles where basically um, doing the games, only doing mandatory kills, collecting every secret and not using any glitches and this just a glitchless no kills run so no kills, no glitches. Um, there are no secrets in this game, so obviously I can't include the restriction of secrets because I can't do what's not there. I need to, to hug the wall. And um, after this, I suppose the next um, the Tomb Raider thing I'll be doing is a blind LP for Legend. This, this game, Angel of Darkness, is the last Tomb Raider game that I've played and completed. So next after this, I believe, will be a blind LP for Legend. I certain that is definitely something that I have spoke about and that I am planning on doing. And can I please grab the ladder instead of just doing this? Okay, she's not grabbing the ladder. That's why I hate the controls, because you have to press X to grab the ladder, but she's not doing it. Okay, now she is. But yeah, um, I suppose the blind LP for Legend will be the next thing after this. I can't think of anything obvious that I'm overlooking, so... And that would be a whole new thing, because I've never done a Let's Play before, and I've certainly never done a blind Let's Play before. I haven't never played Legend. Seems, seems like the best place to start. Yeah, I'm keeping in the cutscenes because I... Um, I said I admire the storyline and I kind of admire the cutscenes and the stuff that happens and everything. So I'm trying to keep in the juicy bits. And it looks like we're actually at the end of the first level. Well, I didn't really change a great deal, because although we got a gun, we didn't have any ammo for it, and so we weren't even able to perform any kills. Well, actually, well, we were, because there was that guy who we could have sneaked up on and killed, but obviously I didn't do that. But, um, yeah, one gun and no ammo, I don't think, so things aren't really much different at the moment, but I'll be saving, and that'll be the end of the first level. So thank you, everyone, for watching, and hope you enjoyed.